also I've been doing some more 3D animation stuff. Oh, yeah. And I'm working on a concept designed to be a kind of pr proposal for helping to reduce the likelihood of oil spills. Okay. Can, I'm just going to say, can you imagine how, you know how big those oil tankers are, right? Have you ever watched a video of one of those go through the Panama Canal? Uh, smidgen, smidgen. So basically it's just a channel that's just a bit wider than the boat. I know, I know. And they have lock systems that are, it's longer obviously because the boat can go through. Can you imagine making a boat that's essentially a floating pier that is like the Panama Canal that can encompass an oil tanker? It's okay. bigger okay. Right. than the oil right. tanker. Right. 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 The oil tanker basically drives into it. Right. They close the gate, uh -huh. and it creates an envelope around okay. the oil gotcha. tanker. Gotcha. 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 Yeah. So then that thing has its own propulsion system. Presumably they could use hydrogen or like a Ballard system. And they could have an environmentally friendly propulsion system carrying an oil tanker safely through those passageways and if something well, ran wonder. into the side of it, it's not going to run into the side of the oil tanker. Right. If somehow a bit of oil spills out, it contains all the oil inside of this right. thing yes. and can safely be recovered. Well, the only problem is that it's very wild and oily out there, so I don't know much about you know, how hazardous it is because now you're seeing all these huge storms. So, you know, the, the, you know, those storms are even going to be tougher, but I've got to go and Sure.